Do this essential 5-minute warm-up every morning for a daily boost of the security health of your customers' networks while taking the first sips of your morning coffee. The Asset Security Warm-up is designed to get every network body part in shape by checking all the key indicators to understand the status of the clients and acting where needed. We are going to give you a simple step-by-step warm-up routine you'll quickly learn by heart. So let's get started. Most of this daily security business can be performed directly in the dashboard of the Asset Protect web console. Dashboard offers readable reports showing the overall status of the network in a single pane of glass. Web console offers multiple predefined dashboards. We can switch between the dashboards using tabs in the top menu bar. In the Status Overview dashboard, we can see the total number of managed devices. Most of them are in good shape and don't report any problems. In one case, our attention is required. We can see that the security product on Pink PC indicates a problem with Asset LiveGrid accessibility. Two computers report significant security risks. For now, let's just check the names of these problematic computers. The Green PC and Red PC will require our attention. In the Status Overview dashboard, we can also find the Connection Status report, which doesn't indicate any not connecting computers. That would mean agents that haven't connected to the Asset Protect server for a long time. A very useful report is the Product Version Status, which displays the ratio of up to date and outdated security product versions. We can see all the agents deployed on client computers are up to date, but on the other hand, the majority of client and server security products are outdated. We will solve this by a security product upgrade later on. Now we will proceed to the Security Overview dashboard. Here we can see that there are three unresolved critical incidents in the last seven days. In the detailed view, we see all of them occurred on the red PC. When we get back to Security Overview dashboard, we can see these three incidents were all detected by the antivirus module. Some other reports we recommend you keep an eye on are Top 10 computers with detections in the last 7 days and Top 10 users with detections in last 7 days. Again, we can see here that Red PC is the most problematic computer with the majority of detections. In the Computers dashboard, the Computer Status Overview confirms that most of the customer's computers are OK, but still, there are two computers indicating severe security risk. As we can see, the top computer problems are Real-time file system protection is disabled, product not activated, and asset live grid is not accessible. In the table of computers with problems, we can see more details. Green PC has a not activated security product. This is a critical security risk because not activated product is basically not functional. Red PC's real-time file system protection is disabled. Now it seems clear why there are so many detections present on the Red PC client computer. And Pink PC has inaccessible asset live grid. As we have already mentioned, dashboard is not just an interface for displaying information. It also provides easily accessible actions for solving problematic states on client computers. So directly from dashboard, in a few clicks, we can activate endpoint on Green PC. and enable real-time file system protection on Red PC. As we can see, all critical security risks were successfully resolved. Further investigation reveals that inaccessibility of Asset Live Grid on Pink PC is caused by misconfigured HTTP proxy. Let's move on to Server Performance Status tab. On this dashboard, we can view information about the Asset Protect server itself, including the server log queue, server network load, CPU load, and server database size. The next dashboard, Antivirus Detections, reveals top detections that emerged in the last seven days. Three of them are still unresolved. All on the red PC, where the real-time file system protection was disabled. To resolve these detections, we will trigger on-demand scan on the infected client computer. This scan will be targeted exclusively on the malicious file. This way, we can clean all three detections on the Red PC client computer. 
the firewall detections dashboard doesn't indicate any issues. The dashboard Asset Applications contains information about installed asset applications. In the chart we can clearly see that a quarter of installed asset applications are in outdated versions. More details are present in this table, where we can see current versions of products as well as the latest versions in asset repository. To maximize the protection of your customers' environments, we always recommend installing the latest versions of asset security products. In multiple places, Asset Protect Web Console provides access to updating the entire infrastructure to the latest version in just a few clicks. Probably the most effective way to do so is from the charts in Product Version Status Report. Even if you have multiple products, you can simply click the chart, choose the option Update Installed Asset Products, get a list of how many computers will be updated, to which product and in what language. The process always picks the latest version available in the repository and keeps the language preference. We can also update server products in the same way that we have updated endpoint products. Getting the latest version has never been easier.